This video introduces kinematic templates. Let us begin by drawing a circle using paint. Here's a circle drawn freehand. The ellipse tool can also be used to draw shapes. These two types of output form a spectrum between freehand drawing and highly precise output. We introduce a new drawing aid, kinematic templates, that improves upon freehand input by motor space manipulations and augmenting cursor movement. This compass template defines a region on the drawing composition where motor space manipulation should take effect. The compass template is attenuating non-circular movement about a point. Note that the visual cues are not an artifact of the drawing. It is provided to show this template's preferred movement. Notice how the circle's movement is improved upon while I am drawing and at the same time retains the human element. Now let us add in three compass templates, each with varying strength from low to high strength. To draw an identical gesture in each of these templates, I'll record the basic movement first, and then replay it. The compass template is increasingly attenuating non-circular movement in motor space. Let us now use kinematic templates to draw a sun. We use the compass template to guide in circular movement. Additionally, we will use the sandpaper template, which slows down the cursor as a soft boundary between the sun's edge and its rays. To form the sun's center, I will use the corduroy template, which prefers movement along parallel lines. So movement that is not parallel to the preferred axis is partially attenuated. Observe how the strokes are fairly uniform, but with small variations. To add in the sun's rays, I will use the dimple chat template. It works opposite to that of the compass template. Concentric movement is attenuated. In other words, movement to and from the center point is preferred. The previous templates that I've added are passive templates. They modify existing user input by manipulating motor space. That is, the amount traveled on the pointing device and the amount traveled on the display depends on the template and cursor's position. Now I'll be using active templates, which applies a force to the cursor. The user does not have to move the pointing device in order to move the cursor. The first one I will show you is the conveyor belt template. In addition, I will add in a magnetic point template, which attracts the cursor to a given point. Each of these strokes is created by clicking and holding the mouse button. The visualization here shows the function composition of the two templates. Now I finish the tree using a tunnel line template, which pulls the cursor back to center if I move too far off of it. Now, I will show you some examples made with kinematic templates. Here, the magnetic point template is composed with an orbit template. The orbit template introduces angular movement about a point. Clicking and holding the mouse button produces a spiral. Using the same two templates for the spiral, I add in the corduroy template. The grid template, which prefers movement along two orthogonal axes, produces another type of spiral. The fur template prefers movement towards one end. Here is another spiral variation. Any template can be moved with the non-dominant hand. Here is a teddy bear drawn with only the orbit template using the technique I just showed you. Magnetic points can be used to form the tops of fireworks. The ground is created by clicking and holding multiple times within the orbit template. And here's another example using the same templates in slightly different positions. Notice how these two drawings have a similar appearance. Here are two bottles drawn on a Wacom tablet, the left by freehand alone and the right with kinematic templates. Notice how the bottles, shading, and hatching have been refined, but yet retains the human element. In summary, kinematic templates modifies motor space and augments cursor movement in supporting a drawing task. We have demonstrated how it occupies a space between freehand and rigidly defined output, how it provides refinement to the user's movement in real time, how it supports function composition, and how it can support drawing 2D visual compositions.